April 16th today and uh, looks like a much better day to finish this sap off. Plus we should get enough um, warm weather today that I would imagine that most of these buckets are going to be half full at least by the end of the day. Tomorrow we have another warm day so I think I can get probably another 30 to 60 gallons of sap which is going to make about let's say two gallons of maple syrup on top of the gallon that I've made. So not a huge year, three gallons of syrup. Um, three gallons, what's that, about 12 liters. So quite a few calories, it's still worth the effort especially since I'm working around the cabin here anyway, it's not a big deal to keep throwing logs on and collecting that sap. Um, minus 7 right now Celsius, going up to about 10 Celsius, I think it said, or 8 Celsius later today and 13 I believe tomorrow and sunny. So a beautiful day to work outside, I'm going to keep doing this and uh, bringing wood up from the, uh, from the road to finish off the sauna. I'll talk about the wood where I got this wood for the to finish off the sawn of the cedar that I'm using. I'll talk about that a little bit later today. trying to get this uh, wood up before the ground starts thawing. Yesterday when the sun came out, when the clouds cleared around noon, it got so loose and, and soft that the snowmobile kept sinking into it and I couldn't pull anything. So I've probably got another hour of moving wood before the ground starts softening too much. Now, like I said, I think that's it for the snowmobile for this season. I'm going to have to put it away. It's, uh, the conditions are going to deteriorate really, really fast now unless next couple of days, a few days of these warm temperatures and then rain. That will be it for the snow, although it's still three feet deep, so it's still going to take probably a month before we get rid of all of it, especially in the shade. It's very, very late season this year. my pile of cedar. So last week I decided because I couldn't uh, get at my cedar logs that were buried under the ground that I would find uh, find some used or wholesale lumber. So I went on uh, Kijiji, our version of Craigslist, and uh, kept searching. It took a couple of weeks to find what I was looking for, but uh, ended up being exactly what I was looking for, or close to it, I guess. So the pile that I'm sitting on is mostly, well, it's actually, this is a mix. So this top stuff here actually came from a guy who works for Ontario Hydro, and he uh, somehow got a hold of the used poles, the poles, hydro poles that they were taking down, and he milled them into lumber. He makes uh, Muskoka chairs with the bulk of it, but these were kind of the scrap pieces, so he got whole truckload and a half for about 50 bucks. So that was uh, exactly what I was looking for. So I was happy to get that. The other stuff here, the stuff that's plain, that you would actually just get at any old any, uh, lumber store. And I think some of this actually did, well, all of it came from a lumber store, but not directly. This was leftover stuff from a uh, couple of guys that, they have a body body shop actually a mechanic shop and body shop but they do or did fences and decks on the side and this is stuff that they had in the garage that they uh, had left over from last year and it's been in their way so they put it on Kijiji at a really good price so I was able to pick all of this up I'm not it's more than I need I think for the sauna 
not sure it was such a good deal I just grabbed all the wood I could get from these two people um, but I know I can use some of it inside in the loft as well which is something I'd over, already planned on doing is uh, using cedar to make those closets and stuff upstairs in the cabin so I'm really happy to get all this those are actually deck boards although they're quite thin I'm not sure I would have called them more like siding anyway it's gonna do exactly what I needed to do in the sauna so I am going to make the floor for the sauna portion right now and then the two uh, benches so I've decided to do uh, an L-shaped bench and then one uh, just smaller upper bench closer to the ceiling which is a place that um, I'll probably use on my own so I'm not going to bother doing a full bench for two or three people. So I think this is probably going to be the last time for a while that I need to get wood from the outside So I have been cutting trees down that I'll be milling. I still have this pile of cherry here behind me. I have a whole bunch of cedar trees. I've got some maple. I've got some maple that's coming down that I need to take down. And uh, a few, oh, and all those other boards too. So now they'll be making uh, stuff out of it. So I've got lots of wood now. I've still got all that uh, pine as well that I cut down two years ago. And I've been waiting to use that for the right project. And I do uh, plan on using those for the, the um, timber frame workshop or wood shop. So that is something I need to do as soon as all the snow melts is pull these pull those aside get them uh, hewed into square timbers and then put aside for another six months or so until I get started on it so they can dry fully yeah and I think that's it I don't think I need to bring in any more wood from the outside that I can think of right now anyway It's a beautiful night after a nice day. The, uh... <laughs> Sorry, Kelly, am I keeping you up? The whole sky lit up off to the west here, through the, across the uh, Beaver Meadow. You know, the sun, the sun, beautiful sunset. And then when I went out to uh, film it, the barred owls started hooting. It's uh, breeding season for them, so they're. Um, you can hear them calling back and forth back around the... They, I think they must uh, have a nest. Because this is the third year in a row I've heard them at this time of year over in that uh, little dead forest area that hit, got hit by lightning a couple years ago. So, nice to hear them again. Anyway, I spent the full day outside. That's two days straight I've been able to spend outside because the weather's been perfect. And I uh, got quite a bit done on sauna. Looks like I'll be able to finish it probably 100% next week. So I'm happy to finally get that. But just thinking, I uh, didn't realize how much I missed being able to work outside all day without having to uh, keep coming in to, to warm up or um, to be out without all that uh, bulky clothes. And the longer days too. I worked outside till 6.30, 7 o'clock again. Right through dinner, didn't even realize what time it was. And I got out pretty early too. So that's the uh, beauty of, of spring and pre-bug season, which um, which bugs probably, or black flies probably won't start for another, I would say, five weeks or so. So the snow is starting to go down quite a bit. Um, I noticed today as I stepped off the trail to uh, check on the, the uh, or to uh, get the buckets of sap off the trees. Uh, it sunk right down and then underneath in a couple of spots or quite a few spots there was a, a layer of water so that means the uh, ground is starting to warm up even though the sun's not really hitting it many places and it's starting to melt from underneath and above so i can see the end of winter finally um, just like i said i really really enjoy getting back out and spending full days outside working or or uh, playing um, I, you saw my lunch it was a uh, trout, so I was able to catch that this week. Um, had venison for dinner, again, had it you know, last night and uh, tonight, and then I'm probably going to have a couple more steaks for lunch tomorrow from the deer that I got back in the fall. So, kind of 
enjoying um, nature and enjoying the uh, rewards of being able to harvest uh, food from nature around here. And turkey season opens uh, next weekend as well, so I'm hoping to get out on opening day. I know where there's some turkeys, so I'd probably be like, yep, get one uh, right away. Um, I don't know, just one of those days, it just really, well, I guess because the sun was out too. I guess that's why I f felt like it was uh, an extra special day, sitting out on the porch with the sun shining, shirt off, just enjoying the weather, enjoying the temperature, enjoying the sunshine. And taking time to relax too. This is obviously one of the reasons I do this is to to not work all the time, not get too carried away with the, all the projects around here. Um, but it's nice to be able to work at my own pace and that's exactly what I do. If I was on a job site, that sauna would have been done long ago, first of all, but even today, I could have got probably most of the interior done if I had just worked hard at it and stayed at it. But not too worried about it this is why i'm doing this like i said I'd relax and enjoy my life and enjoy nature so next weekend is easter and i'm going to be actually heading south to go to my sisters and meet up with the whole family there that's going to be fun and then it's i guess the following weekend is when turkey season opens because i also have uh, the guys coming up to help me build something else so as I mentioned a few times um, so that's like I said two weeks from now on Friday I guess the guys are gonna get here on Friday and stay till Monday and uh, whatever we don't get done I'll just keep working on it probably all during that week but I'm really looking forward to that actually it's gonna be a lot of fun and and uh, what we're doing is a project that I'm really looking forward to having here that fire is actually too hot I put a few logs on when I came in and they all caught um, nice and dry and they actually even with the dampers closed got this place up it's got to be 25 degrees in here right now probably hotter in the loft anyway i think that's it that's like quarter to nine but i'm tired i think i'm probably yeah it's only quarter to nine same as last night i think i'm just gonna go to bed early and read and and uh probably not even for long and then get up early tomorrow morning um, it's supposed to be a nice sunny day, but then rain coming in tomorrow evening and all day probably for the next two days, what it looks a bit, including pretty heavy rain. So I won't be able to work outside, but that works anyway. Um, that's That'll be Thursday. Tomorrow's Wednesday, nice day to work outside. Thursday um, works out well because that means I can edit these videos and spend... Uh, well, I've got a few video videos to edit, so I'll probably have to edit on Friday as well, and then head into town to upload them. So, and I'm back up, back here on uh, Saturday, I guess. Yeah, actually, this weekend it's Easter. Yeah, so this coming weekend is Easter. So Friday is Good Friday, and that's actually when I'm going to my sister's. So I'll uh, edit Thursday, Friday morning. I'll upload the video, then I'll go uh, visit with her. And then I'll be back here on Saturday to, to continue on. Anyway, I really appreciate you guys sticking along. I hope you like these um, uh, daily update videos or, or regular update videos at, at least. And uh, let me know what you think about them, what, whether you think it's worthwhile watching. Um, and also don't forget to go to the other channel if you want to watch the um, sort of a, a fuller... Um, video single video of a summary of the week all the things that i did but more concentrating on on some of the cooking and of course uh, building the sauna so thanks for watching i really appreciate it don't forget to sub, um, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when i upload a video and um, like the video if you did like it and like always love to hear your comments so that's it i'm going to shut her down so have a great week and i will see you up at the cabin next time take care